Southeastern General Contractors, where making clients happy is our number one goal. Learn more at southeasterngeneralcontractors.com. Hey, this is Ralph Lockley with southeasterngeneralcontractors.com. Today we're at the Williams job. We are in the um, drywall stages. We just got approval from inspection to go ahead and get the drywall hung and finished in the house. And now what we're going to do, we've already did a takeoff using the computer uh, software we have. But for demonstration purposes, we're going to show you how to go in the house and actually do a takeoff to determine the board count, the drywall board count that you need. So follow along. We're going to show you the a slow way to do it. Then we're going to show you a faster way. Okay, so first what we're going to do is I've got my assistant, this is my wife, Diana, say hello. Hi. And so what we're going to do, i got her with the notepad, and Kevin, if you'll uh, zoom in and show the folks here, we're going to like label the room, and then we're going to pull each wall, so you can see here this 10 foot by 1, 10 foot 1 inches by 2 foot 8. We're going to basically measure each wall and write down the measurements, and then we'll figure out the square footage of each wall. Then we'll transform or turn that square footage into pieces of drywall boards and it'll tell us exactly how much we need. So now what we're going to do, we're going to use a measuring tape and we're going to measure this wall. That's kind of the slow way. Then we're going to show you a faster way of doing the takeoff on site. So first off we get the width of the wall that we need to measure. And as you can see this wall is five foot seven inches wide. Then you get your height of the wall. And it is 10 foot one, 10 foot one tall. So you take that width and that height, multiply them together, that gives you the square footage. Now for your drywall board counts, we normally order 12 foot long pieces of drywall. And sometimes they're four foot tall, sometimes they're 54 inches when we're doing nine foot ceilings. And I don't want to kind of confuse you at the moment, but for now you take your width of the wall and the height of the wall, get that square footage, and then divide it by the square footage of each drywall board and it'll give you the number of pieces of drywall you would need to hang and finish this wall. So we're going to do the whole house, the garages and everything, so follow along. We're probably going to speed up the process, but the overall process is getting square footage, dividing it out by the square footage of the boards, and it'll tell us exactly how many pieces of drywall that we'll need. Okay, so now we just demonstrated using a tape. What we're going to do now is that we're going to use this roller wheel that you see here. We're going to use this. Just set this down to the side. We know our wall height is 10 foot 1 inches. So to do a quick measurement, we're going to start here. And basically, we're just going to measure and roll out our walls using our wheel. So we're going to do this. And then we're going to do this. And then we're going to add a 10% waste factor onto our measurement. And as many of you know, this is my son RJ, Great Southeastern. We are a family run business. So say hey RJ. No? So simply you just roll this wheel around your walls. It's gonna tell you how many lineal foot of wall space that you have. And then we're gonna multiply it by the height. Now, see we have a garage door opening here. There's no drywall that's going to be there, so basically what I do without trying to get too technical, there's no need to roll the whole wall out, so what I do is I roll halfway of the wall to account for this, and plus that'll give us a little bit of waste that we're going to need. So I'll just simply roll halfway of the wall, skip it, and then come back to where our full wall starts. About halfway of the garage wall, as you can see here. Go back to the full wall. And then I roll halfway of that wall there. And so now it tells me, as you see here, if we'll take a look, it tells us we got 140 feet of wall space. So now what we'll do is instead, instead of us doing like we have here and writing down each individual wall, we'll speed up the process. We'll say 100 and 40 feet long, because we just measured all of our wall spaces, times 10 feet, one inches tall. 
and that will give us the square footage and so this will be for the garage walls. So that will get us exactly what we need. We times 140 times 10 will give us our square footage. Then we divide that by the square footage of the drywall boards. Okay, so now as you see, we've got our measurements, and we're gonna go ahead and show you how to convert that square footage into number of uh, drywall boards. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to an app that I have called Material Estimator, iPhone app. And then I'm going to enter these measurements. 140 feet times 10 feet 1 inch. And then we're going to we're going to leave that there. That's settled on so we got 1,412 square feet basically. So we're going to put 1,412 square feet. Now in a drywall here, we're going to use 54 inch drywall. And 54 inch drywall is just taller drywall instead of using four foot high we're going to use 54 inches and so what we'll do we'll say uh, 54 inches times 12 foot long that gives us 54 square feet in each board so we're gonna put 54 square foot in each drywall board and simply all we have to do now is divide those two numbers 1412 divided by 54. It tells us we're going to need 20, 26 sheets, but we'll go ahead and say 27 sheets. 27 pieces of 54 inch by 12 foot long half inch drywall. So that's how you get your measurements. Your lineal foot times your height equals your square footage divided by the square footage of each board. For these walls in this garage, we will need 27 pieces of 54 inch tall draw, drywall that's 12 foot long, and that will take care of the drywall in this garage. Now, we're going to go through the remainder of the house, finish our takeoff, but essentially that's how you do a drywall takeoff. Your walls is different. You basically get the width of the room and the length, find out what that square footage is, and then divide that by the square footage of your board for your ceilings, and that'll give you the pieces of drywall you need. That's what we're gonna do now, but for demonstration purposes, follow that formula, and that's how you will figure your drywall board count. Southeastern General Contractors, where making clients happy is our number one goal. Learn more at southeasterngeneralcontractors.com.